Hey, hello, and welcome back, everybody. Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com. Uh, I'm doing the 10,000 Swing Challenge. Uh, it's going well. Uh, we're on day nine. Uh, it's nice to say, uh, not too long from now, we'll, we'll be uh, uh, halfway through, and then after that, it's just do more swings. It's a pretty simple thing. Uh, you get a kettlebell. I use the 20 because I'm 65. For men, I recommend the 24. For women, the 16 or the 12, depending on your technique. And uh, you do 500 swings a day for 20 days. And what does it do for you? Uh, well, uh, your mileage may vary. Uh, for me, uh, it sets myself up uh, every year. for. So we come out of the holidays, and then I do 10,000 swings. Uh, I, I clean up my diet. I clean up my hamstrings, my hip flexors, you know, my, my grip strength, and then it gives me momentum for the rest of the year. Is it perfect? Well, no, no, it's not. Um, and uh, the, the joke I always use is, is if uh, you do find a perfect formula, uh, do it. Uh, what's it going to do for you? If you find a perfect program, do it, and you'll discover quickly that it's not perfect. And people will say, Dan, if you just give me the perfect diet or perfect exercise program, I hear both. I actually have heard both. I want a perfect diet and a perfect exercise one time. I, I actually still work with this person. <laughs> who, who, who knows, you know? It's like the George Carlin thing about uh, what if you had, you know, what if you had a perfect diet and so that you would never fart? And then, of course, it's... Uh, the one time you finally did, you'd be so freaked out. You know, I, I don't know why I told you that story. Okay, seriously, you need to be over here. Come here. Come here. Uh, that was not very good. He's right in my swing way. Come here. Come here. Come here. Right here. Oh yeah, that's got to. That has to inspire everyone to to train hard. Okay, lay down. Okay, good, good dog. Uh, he's one of those. We spent a lot of money training him. To see how, how, how well he pays attention. You don't act for don't start acting. Come on. He took a drama, took a, took a drama class. Come on down. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Yeah, that was that was fun. Okay, let's get going. Uh here we go. There's a nice little warm-up. Okay. So, not only is it winter, again, with all the, you know, the colds and flus, we also have COVID. So, practically everybody I know uh, is dealing with some kind of, you know, something. So, be a little kinder out there this month. Uh, you just don't know what people are going through. Uh, today.
today I'm going through a little bit of a right nostril congestion, which is always fun when you do kettlebell swings, because kettlebell swings will <laughs> loosen up mucus as good as anything you'll ever do in your life. And tell me that's not sexy. Uh, again, internet people, uh, uh, Instagram people, if you have questions, go ahead. And if you find people, remember, uh, podcast at danjohnuniversity.com, and I'll answer those in the podcast. Uh, I do answer as best I can questions uh, down below on the YouTube channel, but it's, the problem is I'll get a question from something I, I filmed four or five years ago, and it'll be some weird little question. And, uh, you know, if, if it's a 45-minute workshop and there's, you know, there's a question on, you know, slide number 27 of 500, it's, it's really hard. So, but I do my best. I try to support as best I can. Okay, Instagram friends, good morning. If you have questions, go ahead and ask. I have to bounce a little bit quickly today. I've got a podcast with Pat Flynn coming up. Uh, I'll ask for some uh Every so often, if someone let me know the time on Instagram, like if it's 15 minutes after, or 25 minutes, or 30 minutes after, I'd appreciate it. Not bad. Not a bad way to start. Uh. Good morning. Uh. Like I said, it's strange. This is a hard thing for people to learn. Uh, I was reading that article about the person that did the 100,000 swings and they actually put weight on and felt worse. Yeah, very often in challenges or really strict two-week diets, <clears throat> like the 28-day velocity diet, the two-week induction uh, for Atkins, yeah, some good things happen. But very often, all they do is stimulate the brain to be better for the rest of the year. I always feel like the 10,000 swing challenge uh, for the rest of the year. My d personal discipline's a little bit better. You know, I start waking up before the alarm goes off. I meditate every day now. Uh, but the challenge supports all my other goals. So kind of remember that about challenge. Okay, so a couple questions. Wim Hof method. So, question is what do I think about the Wim Hof method. That's ice bathing. Here's the funny thing about the Wim Hof, is that the the scientists I've talked to and the books I've read, uh, there's there's a book on longevity there, and there's a book on longevity there. Sauna and ice baths give you the same protein something or other response. So I have a sauna down the hall. So I, what I do is I try to mix and match, and there's nothing new about it. This I read this with the Bulgarians and the East Germans doing this 50 years ago. 
is I mix sauna with ice baths to try to get the benefits of both. No, 300 swings a day. That's Pat Flynn's. Uh, the the 10,000 swing challenge is 500 a day for 20, but you can do anything you want. I mean, no one cares. Literally, no one cares. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to... Mohammed asks a question that why is it after programs end that you get your best results? But that's true in everything. I mean, uh, you know, uh, it's a cliche, but when you graduate, uh, graduate uh, to uh, gradius, a step, when you take the step, you go to an event called commencement. And commencement means beginning. Um, I think the same way. I think, for example, when I got my master's in history, uh, in 81, 82. That was great, and I learned a ton in those couple of years. But I learned far more about history after I got out of school and applied it. I, I just think that's a, a, a just part of human nature. Um, uh, the accommodations happen downstream. So if you go on a strict diet, you might not really find very much. But if it's strict enough, that makes you, if the diet is so strict that you start to crave, you know, vegetables and drinking water, and our strength a program is so hard that you can't wait uh, to do, you know, military press, front squat, and deadlift. <laughs> That's a great program because it's stimulating to for you to want to do, you know, repeatable doable stuff. So that's what I think. I'm sure there is something at the at the biochemical level too. Maybe, it, and I, and it's, there's probably is some truth. Uh, we now know that uh, adaptions happen much faster than we think, but they still have to happen. Uh, adaptions still have to happen. Uh, so, huh. we freak the body out. The body responds immediately with certain things. And then, as the stressor continues, uh, there's that wonderful thing Rob Wolf calls the hormonal cascade. And then the hormonal cascade uh, does things. Well, in my experience, the hormonal cascade doesn't usually happen as quickly as you'd want. Uh, I'm no expert on this. Uh, that's why I read Maffy Tone and some of the others who really specialize in this. All right, let's keep cranking these out today. Hey, would someone give me a time on this? How many how many minutes after the hour this is? <laughs> So 7, 18, 10, 19. Thank you so much, folks. Good. That gives me enough to, uh, I have to go pretty quick today. Last time I did the podcast with Pat Flynn, I was still out of breath. And I sound like an axe murderer. So that's not what we, <laughs> that's not what we want. Okay, with the way I set this up now, I think it costs. Yeah, no matter how I set things up, people always find fault with the audio or the visual or I'm too pale or whatever. Okay, thanks. So I've got uh, 
I don't know, how long do you think, half an hour to get 350 reps in? That's, uh, so I have to do 100 every 10 minutes. I, I like that chance. Oh. What's interesting, I've always thought about the Wim Hof method is that, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. I mean, everything I've read in his books, and this, this is not a rip on Wim Hof, is the same stuff I read in, uh, martial art books back in the 1960s, you know, about you know, some uh, some would train in uh, really cold um, ocean waves, some would train on snow, um, uh, of course, you know, Batman Begins has that snow fighting scene, it's just a popular you know, way to do things. But you always have to be careful, I mean, uh, You don't, uh, you're, you know, at the Mr. World contest, you know, you, it's, it's, you don't really get a lot of uh, people from Antarctica winning. You know? <laughs> so kind of uh, uh, so uh, the problem we always have in, in, in the industry, the fitness industry, is if a little is good, well, then a hell of a lot should be better. So, you know, if uh, back in 2000, Art Devaney got everybody to start walking around on cold days with short sleeves on, and, and by the way, I think that's still a really good idea because it encourages brown fat. And then pretty soon, well, that wasn't, you know, enough. So now I'm going to sit naked in a snowbank for two days. And uh, I, we always do that in this industry. <laughs> How many swings a day is good enough? 75. How many am I doing a day? 500. I mean, I'm, I'm part of the problem, too. <clears throat> okay. Uh, for some reason, um, my hands and forearms and everything else things feels pretty good today. Uh, my body weight is uh, struggling. You know, I, everyone knows I, I want to get down. But uh, like I keep saying to myself and to the audience, uh, after the 10,000 swing challenge, Last year, I started the year off. I'm just going to tell you in pounds. I started the year off in, at 251, did the 10,000 swing challenge, had no impact on my body weight. A few months later, no, not a few months, not long after, I weighed 231. And then not long after that, I weighed 218. So from January to, uh, I guess it was May, because it was the weightlifting meet, I went from 251 to 218. And the only hard thing I did was a 10,000 swing challenge in January. Certainly, I, you know, I, I was going to say I cleaned up my diet, but I, I wouldn't. Honestly, in hindsight, I'm not even sure what, what I'd have done that different. Yeah, I, eat, I mean, I eat vegetables at every meal. I did do a fat loss boost with Rusty Moore. But it wasn't, the weight's just sometimes a slide off. It's, I am convinced that fat loss, so I think lean, lean body gain and fat loss are the two hardest things to do. And yet that's all people ask me about. And it's those are the, and we still don't fully understand. You know, people ask me about lipo and I'm like, <laughs> if you can afford it and you trust it. I mean, somebody told me now that there's no limits in Utah how much, how much, uh, how many liters of fat you, know, you can get removed? There used to be a hard limit. I want to say four. Let's just say it's four. Four liters in a couple hour surgery? Four liters of fat. I mean, I'm not saying you should do it, but I'm just saying that's that's a lot. And boy, what if you got eight? I mean, or whatever. You know. Just because I'm talking doesn't mean you have to do anything.
but at some level, uh, I think this is good for me. I like the, you know, January. There's still an argument, but I, I like to go with that the name January comes from uh, Janice. Oh, my God, my thing stopped working. I think it did. But if I miss any questions, I apologize. Uh, good morning, everybody. And uh, Janice, J A N U S, is a two headed God who looks forward and backwards. And of course, that's a very uh, big image in Celtic mythology. Also, the two headed God. You know, you even see it, Woden or Odin, you know, the, the eye patch, that, that kind of thing. An inner eye and an outer eye. Ku Holland did that during his transformations. Uh, one of the things I do in January, and I know it's, uh, I write, for example, I write a best worst list of the last year. You know, I look over my my workouts for the last year. I look look over my financials. Of course, you know, here in America, taxes are coming up. So, and uh, that you begin to see those kinds of patterns where you do something really hard and you don't get any quick quick benefits out of it, but long term you do. So, but there's no good sign. Uh, what's in my cup this morning? Uh, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Uh, just coffee. Uh, somebody asked if I warmed up. Now, you guys, I show you everything here. You, that, you don't miss a trick. Uh, <clears throat> my first set's my first set. I guess you, I mean, if you want to warm up, go ahead. I just think, I mean, you know, I was a track coach for a long, a long time. And, you know, it would be weird when the stretching cult showed up. You know, all these people started stretching. And it was weird because all those people who stretched before they ran are the ones who always got hurt. And by the way, uh, that's what we discovered. I mean, that's what the, yeah, uh, that was that interesting uh, thing Matthew Tone discovered when he, when he interviewed all those people and found that uh, there was a one-to-one -one correlation between injuries and stretching. Uh, I'm not saying stretching is bad, but it has to be done appropriately. Um, so with, with runners, the best warm-up is running. Uh, my, when I was at Utah State, of course, we were a tremendous track team, and all the running, the runners would be like, when someone's talking about you're going to warm up today, they'd look at you like you were, well, yeah, I'm a runner. I, I run. And then, you know, I, I run a little faster after I've run a while. Oh, okay. Uh, so now I'm not a, uh, I, I talk about this in a couple of my books. My best throw of my uh, college sophomore year, a personal record, uh, was done when uh, my coach, Coach Lahati, gave me the wrong time for the start of the men's discus. And, uh, oh, so I'm in the bus and I hear last call men's discus. I run down and uh, fortunately I brought my gear with me and the, and the head official says, uh, we've been waiting for, you know, where you been? We're waiting for you. So I changed my clothes, right? A nice family went like this. I changed my first throw was my first throw. My second throw was my lifetime best. And I think. You know, if you're a parent, you know, your kid comes in in the morning and throws up all over your chest, you know, you're not going to warm up, you're going to clean it up, you know. So uh, I'm not a huge believer in warm ups. Uh, if you play team sports, you know, very often you stand around the sidelines picking your nose, and all of a sudden, coach says, Candy John, get in there. What? <laughs> yeah, there's no warm up, you just run out there and play. You know? <laughs> there's a, a film of me playing high school football online. And uh, it's weird because uh, I, I played a lot of I played a lot of downs in the game, but I'm not. It, it's it's because of the way it's filmed and stuff. You, you can't see my number, but I just remember my coach kid, like <clears throat> sporadically just sending me in, and it, there was no rhyme or reason to it. I just remember it against St. Ignatius in Keysar Stadium. I there was no rhyme or reason to it. It was just kind of a funny. I've always still thought it helped an athlete to know. Hey, at the end of this uh, round, would somebody give me a, a time check? All I need is, the, you know, whatever, how many minutes after the hour it is, okay? Really appreciate that. You guys do that for me.
halfway. So I gotta speed up. Thirty-two after. Jeez, I really gotta pick it up. Ah, hell. Shoot. I really don't want to. I'd much rather talk to you guys. When I do this normally, I go as fast as I can. But when I do it like I'm doing this year to support some people, then I just finish the workouts. It's not my proudest work. But hey, you know. So when people do challenges, especially on the forum over at Dan John University or at DaveDraper.com and the Dan John q and I always, I always try to step up and do them this year though. You know, someone's got a push up challenge. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, good morning. Hey, bud. Yeah, I think those, personally, I think the burpee and push up challenges are, I, I, I somebody answer that? First uh, the problem with push-up challenge, you know, it's for a lot of people, that just beats the hell out of their uh, that little point right there in the shoulder. And if you've ever heard it, you know what it is. And of course, the burpee challenges. I hate burpees. So I don't know why you do it. Okay. Good stuff. I'll crank out a couple quick sets of 25. Get the speed up the speed up the sets a little bit. For those of you with Pat Flynn, we have one more set. We got one more set to get to 300, so let's do that. And then you guys can go mentally prepare yourself for the Pat Flynn podcast with me that starts in about 20 minutes. Oh. Here we go, huh? Oh. Oh. And again, if my uh, internet friends, uh, my Instagram friends have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I answer the same ones every single day. Uh, 20 kilo of L, I'm 65, 10,000 swings, it's 500 a day. No, I don't know why we do it. Okay, Okay. so if you're doing the January challenge for 300, you should be finished now. And if you're doing the 10,000, uh, we have, oh, I got some more to go. I got to speed it up. Could someone give me a quick time check? Just how many minutes after the hour it is? I like it when people 
say hello. That's very kind. 37. Damn. I've got to do 100. So I should really have to pick it up. The damn hard thing is, is when I pick it up to finish faster, I breathe harder. So when I'm on Pat Flinch, I sound like a psychopath. Oh. Grip's going. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, dang, I've really got a crank. I want to finish before the 7.50. Should have 10 minutes to get my breath back, but uh, I don't know, uh, let's get over, let's try, uh, if I can do 45 now, get me over 400. I screwed up the number so bad. Oh, I couldn't remember my own numbers. Huh? Logged out of sorry, folks. So, my Instagram just oh, come on. I don't know what Instagram is a Zuckerberg thing, right? So by definition, it has to be. I hope you're back. Sorry, I Instagram uh, demanded that I uh, uh, prove that I moved. Sorry about that. Thanks for bearing with me. And it got it threw my time off too. So <sighs> Instagram lately has turned into Facebook. Slow, bloated, worthless, but. It gives me a chance to interact with you, so that makes it all better. Anyway.
an Instagram timeout, huh? That's new. Hang on a second. <clears throat> Sorry about that. No questions? Hey, hi, everybody. Hi, welcome. Uh, would someone give me a, a time, if you can? How many minutes after the hour it is? I'm wearing my first in Asia shirt. Seven minutes to finish this. Whew. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, so I have to say a quick goodbye today to my YouTube friends. But uh, remember, uh, I'm Dan John, danjohnuniversity.com. Uh, we have that special going on. New Year, one word. And if you join at that very big discount, uh, the goals course is only 15 bucks, which I, mean, I think I mean, is pretty good. Uh, in fact, this afternoon I have two telephone calls with people who are, who just finished the course and want to go over some material, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they send me these elaborate and thick 5-2 uh, assignments, and uh, you can always tell who's going to be successful because the detail and the clarity are, are there. Uh, uh, I don't... I don't care what your goals are. I mean, that's not important. Any idiot can set goals. Achieving goals, that's a different thing entirely. And I think in achieving goals, it's got to be very clear in your head. Uh, and that's why I like numbers, personally. But you, know, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm flailing a little bit on my numbers this year. But I'm, I'm trending in the right direction. Uh, the business one is fine. But the, getting my body weight down. Maybe it's because when I'm trying to swing, somebody uh, releases gas, and it makes it hard to focus. Oh boy, <sighs> doing all those high reps early are killing me now. Uh, shoot, might take me two sets to finish. Uh, Instagram friends, I'll be finishing up and very quickly and then off to a podcast. Uh, thank you. But he also married Bunny. So uh, Larry is commenting that uh, the big Lebowski uh, got his goals. And so did the dude. Let's be honest. So did the dude. All right. Craig got a real quick set of 20 or whatever. Playing this plane.
Oh. Oh. Huh. Shoot. I should have just finished this. Okay. All right. One more set for sure, and then we'll call it a day. Instagram is usually I stick around and answer questions after, but I won't be able to today because I'll be at the podcast at Chronicles of Strength with Pat Flynn. Uh, it's a good podcast. Uh, lately, I've come in a sweaty mess, and so it's kind of fun. And you, my YouTube brothers and sisters, uh, remember, if you have questions, podcast at danjohnuniversity.com. Uh, don't forget the New Year special, one word, New Year, on the site. It's 29 bucks for three months, which is really reasonable. And then uh, 15 bucks for the gold course, which is really reasonable. Uh, I'm working on a new book. Uh, so far, I feel like it's a little bit all over the place, but that's what books are like when you wait around and have some good insights last night. Okay. Uh, According to this, I have 15 swings, so I'll, I'll swing, I'll say goodbye, and we'll call it a day. And yes, Larry, here's this money on you. weird how easy swings get uh, when you've been doing this many. Okay, so that's 500. Uh, 42.50 total. Uh, sneaking up on halfway, and I'll let you know uh, when we get there. And reminders, my friends, uh, uh, until next time, uh, Let's all keep on lifting and learning. I'm Dan John from danjohnuniversity.com. And thank you.